Now, for one octave major scales, I want you to reference the worksheet and music that can be found on our Moodle site. One octave major scales only entail two strings. For the most part, they're either on only the G and D string or on the D and A string. Let's begin with the one octave major scales that start with first finger on the G string. Now, these scales would include the A flat major scale, the A major scale, the B flat major scale, B major scale, C, and C sharp. I want to stress to you that the fingering is exactly the same for all of these scales and you'll always start on first finger. Now if you find the key pitch, the tonic note, with your first finger and simply play the 3-4 finger pattern on the two strings, you will have played a major scale. Let me demonstrate by playing an A major scale. It's the 3-4 finger pattern on both strings. Now I'll play a C major scale, that's third position, beginning on first finger, same finger patterns. Now you try playing the A flat major scale, B flat, B, and C sharp, all starting with first finger on the G string and using the 3-4 finger pattern on both strings. Now we do have the open G one octave major scale. If we start on open G, the finger pattern will be 2-3 on both strings. all of you have played that before. We also have the D major scale, starts on an open string, and it will be the 2-3 finger pattern on both strings, the D and the A. And finally, we have the scales that begin with first finger on the D string. They include E flat, E, F, and F sharp. And again, they are the three, four finger pattern on both strings. I'll play an E major scale. Using this idea of finger patterns, major scales become quite simple. Don't look at music while you play them, just use your ear and think of the finger patterns.